this is going to be a follow-up to the to the last video where we talked about how you can smooth out or read in a read in a data file a csv file and separate the columns out and graph it and then and how you can smooth it out here i'm going to talk to you really quickly about subplotting so we're going to do the same things that we did before we're going to have we're going to read in the same data file we'll get the time which is column one and data in the charge which is column two and we're going to get the smoothed out the rolling average um, as a as a, an array as well and we're going to plot time against charge and time against charge smooth but i'm going to use this in subplot subplot allows you to create a plot that's got more than one plots in one graphic so in this case we're going to use a two by one so two rows one column subplot and position one is going to be time and charge and position two so it's like two columns two rows one column position one two rows one column position two will be the smoothed out version and if we run this we get here you can see the kind of messier version that's not smoothed out and here we have the smoother version and it's two rows, one column. We could also, I can do this. It won't, this one won't necessarily look as nice, but we could go one by two and I could save this and they'll graph this way. I could even do it two by two. And then I'm gonna do position one, position four, cause there's four positions here. Two of them will be empty, but you'll get to see where they are, right? And this would be if you had four graphs you wanted to put in one graphic. You can, the basically you can put as many in as you want. I, there's a limit that I I think it's 16. Um, practically speaking, you very rarely want to go above three rows or three columns just because the graphics won't look good. But if you look at this, this gives you a way to put those plots in. And in this case, two by one makes sense because then they're one above the other. Um, when you do your robot and graph the acceleration and the velocity one above the other, it'll make the graphs easier to interpret because the time scale will be the same. So you can be looking at what's happening to the velocity given what the value of the acceleration at any given time. So there you go, using subplot.